Yes. Welcome back. The second annual Kids Run to Read Fun Run will be held in conjunction with the Summerfest Rock and Soul Run on Saturday, June 13th. 250 kids will get to cross the same impressive finish line and get a medal, just like their bigger counterparts. That's right. And a portion of the event proceeds benefit Sharp Literacy. So here from Sharp is their president and CEO. It's Linda Kohler, along with Marquette basketball coach Steve Wojciechowski, a.k.a. Wojo, Wojo. and his wife, Lindsay. <laughs> Welcome to the Morning Blend, hey, all of you. Good morning. Thanks, for, having us. Thanks for being here. Let's talk a little bit first about the Kids Run to Read, which is going on at Summerfest Rock and Soul Run. And this is the second year for this, right? It's, it's the second annual. Kids Run to Read in conjunction with the Summerfest Rock and Soul Run. Mm -hmm. um, the Kids Run begins at 10 a.m. and um, it's ages 3 to 12 this year. Okay. What was so, that? Was it different uh, last year? Last year was 6 to 12, so we have the little ah, ones the starting. Little ones the little ones, ones yeah, will be included this year. Um, yeah, and, it, and you can register on rockandsoulrun.com and for $12, it's a screaming deal. You get a, a bib, they get a um, Metal, they get a t shirt, they get a goodie bag, and then healthy snacks at the end. Oh, so fun. fun. Now, Steve, you and Lindsay are new to Milwaukee. You probably get mm -hmm. asked to do, you know, get involved with charities. Why did you guys pick this one to get involved with? Well, you know, I, I think it's one that's close to our heart. You know, we have two young boys, and they're in the, the process of learning how to read, and we know how important that is for all kids to have the, the gift of, of reading and, mm -hmm. and learning, and Linda and Sharp Literacy uh, does an amazing job of, of doing that in our community, and we wanted to get behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, and one of the things that your team was involved in is the Sharps Read with the Golden Eagles program. So your players specifically, how were they involved, and what did they experience with that? Well, they had an amazing experience, and mm -hmm. one of the uh, things I wanted to do when I first got the job is make sure our kids were involved in the community because our players have a, an amazing platform to impact people. Mm -hmm. And the people that we want to impact the most are the young kids in our community. So when Linda and I met uh, when I first got the job and learned about Sharp and all the great things that they're doing in schools and our community, we wanted to make sure our players were involved. So we sent them out to the schools, and they read to the kids, and they talked to them about the importance of reading and learning, and um, and I, I think it was very impactful uh, for the the students, but also it was great for our guys. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, I bet the guys got a lot yeah. out of that too. They, they love did. working with kids yeah. like that. What's new yeah. this year as a part of the event? Um, as I mentioned, that um, now it's three years old. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we have a new route as well, so okay. we'll start in the Summerfest grounds, and mm -hmm. um, the littler kids will not will run about a half a mile, and then the older kids from six to twelve will run a full mile. Okay. And this year, the um, parents are able to see the kids. Last year, we had a um, they weren't able to see the kids running the full route. This year, they will be. So it'll be. Um, so they little, run along with them, or no, how do they, they see? No, they can't run along with them. They run by themselves. Yes. Okay. So they'll Pick just be on the outskirts. Yes, on the outskirts of the of the route. But are they running with their bigger counterparts, the Rock and Soul runners? Um, are they all running at the same time? No, or they start earlier. Run? Yeah, this okay. is a separate okay. run on the same day. So okay. the um, same Summer finish Fest line, Rock though. and Soul, same finish line, exactly. Cute. Summer Fest Rock and Soul starts earlier, um, and then when they're all done, um, then the kids will start. Okay. okay, and you guys mentioned you have two little ones. Are they going to run? Are they going to be yeah. a part of the event? We have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, and they are so Look excited. at them! They are so cute! Yeah, our our seven-year-old Jack claims that he's training right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing to train? Yeah, yeah. that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> you run around the driveway? Yeah, that's right. You need more peanut butter yeah. and jellies? Yeah. So, so they'll be doing the race? They will be doing it. They are trying to recruit a lot of their friends from school and sending out emails, so they're, they're really excited about it. Cute. So, yeah. Linda, how, does, how do you get kids involved in this? Do, mm -hmm. And how do they sign up? And um, they can go to um, Summerfest Rock, or I'm sorry, Rock and Soul Run okay. mm -hmm. um, Yeah, we're doing a lot of social media, and um, right now we're at just uh, over about 100 um, kids, and we want to get to that 250. Um, and again, for such a value for twelve dollars, and you know, we promote the um, you know reading and kind of exercising the mind. So this mm -hmm. way is a yeah. good way to exercise, exercise the their body. body too. Yeah. And when they cross that finish line, do they get big you know accolades? Well, they do. Yeah. They, yeah. Get they get a medal put around. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, so. and people can always learn more about your programs of Sharp Literacy and all the good stuff you do, right? Do you take volunteers? We do, and, and we there is a need for volunteers mm -hmm. um, at the um, kids run to read, and then you okay. can also register to volunteer on the website rockandsoulrun.com and you get a Summerfest ticket, you get a t-shirt and a ticket to Polish Fest. So.
There you go. Yeah, and that's what a lot of the proceeds will go to, right? Is to benefit these programs that you run. Exactly. Um, yeah. The proceeds. Right now, we're in um, over 30 schools and serve about uh, over 7,000 students a year. So the proceeds will help us expand that program into the future. And awesome. the important age for reading is before six, right? That they have a certain amount of words that they can read yeah. and say. Yes, six is is a, a good um, a good age. Um, obviously, we want to promote them earlier. Mm -hmm. um, we are piloting a K-5 program this year um, in our schools. So we want to even start okay. them even a little a bit little younger. younger. Yeah. It's great. It's good. It's going to be fun. You two are going to stick around with us, right? We are. We'll All right. <laughs> We're going to get to know you guys better. But here's the information for the event. It's the second annual Kids Run to Read. It's going on Saturday, June 13th at 10 o'clock. Starts right at Henry Mayer Summerfest Park, right over the festival park there. The website to register is rockandsoulrun.com. Again, you get a t-shirt, a race bib, race bag with goodies. And at that finish line, you're going to get a medal as well. $12 in advance, 17 on the race day. Make sure that you get involved because it really benefits a great program. Thanks for being Thanks, here. Guys. Thank you. All right. And like we said, Steve and his wife, Lindsay, are sticking around with us to have a little fun. Stay tuned because we're going to be right back. Get to know them a little bit better. And welcome back. Well, Wojo came to Marquette after a very successful basketball career as a player and coach for Duke. His first season here is in the books, and the building continues for next year. We are back with Wojo and his wife, Lindsay, <laughs> to get to know them a little better because it is their first year in Milwaukee, and you guys have only been here a year, right? We've only been here a year, yes. Do you, you love it? What do you think? Love Milwaukee. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I never saw that coming at all, but love it. Love the schools. So when you city. first heard, were you like, where are we going? <laughs> 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 there were a lot of follow-up questions. Yes. Yeah. Um, but no, love, absolutely love Milwaukee. I have nothing but good experience. So what, do you, what, what are you liking so far about it the most? Looking forward to the summer. Yeah. Um, it was pleasantly surprised by the winter. That was a lot better than we were expecting. Really? I think we were prepared for the absolute worst. So. I uh, love the schools and love everybody we've met. People have been so kind. Yeah. yeah. How about for you? I would say the people. Yeah. You know, it's a very, it's a very warm community, mm -hmm. and people embrace you uh, with open arms. And and so for us, the transition has been really good. Mm -hmm. well, I good. think it's true. People in Wisconsin just very genuine across the Incredible board. Line. Everyone's very loyal, wonderful. Yeah. I mean, it's just a really great community that embraces yeah, everybody here. Tiffany came from, you know, yeah. Minnesota. From the, the rival state. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I can be embraced, yeah, yeah. anyone can be. <laughs> it's very true. So, okay, we want to break down some fun things between you two. Yes. Have a little fun. Get to know the two of you yeah. and see, you know, where you guys fall in your personalities <laughs> between the two of you. First of all, though, we want to know from you, do you have any pregame superstitions or routines that you have to do before the game uh, you know a, a lot of it, a lot of it's focused around uh, studying for our opponent um, okay you know if it's a if it's a 9 p.m. game I usually try to take a nap and get <laughs> get my rest uh, because I know I'll be up and emotional for the whole 40 minutes of the game yep how long is your nap are you a 15 minute napper or do you go for probably an hour an hour so okay. they say longer they than say longer than recommended, right? So there's yeah. no like inside socks, or you have to wear the same boxers, <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah, no, no, there isn't. But okay. if we we start a big winning streak, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not above that. I'm not above doing. that either. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so between the two of you, who's funnier? Who cracks the most joke? Who, who's goofier? I think this is season dependent. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> oh, what? He yeah. was funnier. <laughs> He's funnier. I, I More so during that. the off season than the on season. I was going to yeah. say, yes. he's a little tense maybe yes. during the season. Yeah. He's, he's pretty witty. We'll okay. we'll give that to him. sense of humor during the season. Yeah, you know, a little focused. <laughs> <laughs> Who takes out the garbage? She does. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Really? Yeah, she's kind of CEO of the household. Okay. So, and that, that falls <laughs> under CEO duties. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> so, there's no like chart to like dishes. Garbage. There's no chart. He helps when he's home, but he's, he's not home a lot during the off season, no. during the season. So, I heard you guys have a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. So who's yeah. on poop duty? <laughs> that would definitely be me. So you're poop duty. It's you? Again? It is definitely me. He, again, he helps out during the off season, but that's a short, short window. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big fan of poop duty. So, uh, <laughs> so I, you know, that's, that's something. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You're like, I yeah, love yeah. poop duty. No, I got, a, I got a dog. I know what poop duty is yeah. all about. Yeah. Yeah. We love dogs. Okay, who's the optimist? Who's the pessimist? Well, I would like to call it disaster preparedness. You know, <laughs> as a mom, I think all moms can relate. So, wouldn't quite call it pessimist. 
No, I realist. Think realist. Realist. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. What do you What do you fall under? I think I'm a, a glass half full guy. Okay. Um, so as at a least I like you to. Should be right. I think yeah. you. I think you have to be. Mm -hmm. You got to have that be. motivational mentality as a leader. You got to be like, okay, oh, all right, guys, we can turn this around. Resilience. Yeah. No, I think that's an essential quality for that's for right. any leader. Mm -hmm. And so, I believe good things are going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and you prepare for if they don't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> a CEO. Somebody's right. got to. So, so who's the disciplinarian when it comes to the kids? And do mm. you treat your kids kind of like your players? Like, you know, like, you know, uh, you, didn't, you didn't do that shot, right? I think right? I'm the disciplinarian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, you know, because I, I travel a lot. So mm -hmm. when I come home, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm generally uh, rolling around on the floor and wrestling with them. And then she's telling us to quit it. And <laughs> Sending us all to time out when we don't listen. <laughs> all, all, all three of you, yeah, right? right? Do the dogs get in there and wrestle too? The dogs get in How there. How many dogs do yes. you have? We have two. Two. Two yes. dogs. What kind of dogs they, are they? Uh, we have an English retriever, and then we just brought home a golden doodle puppy um, oh a couple weeks ago who's growing exponentially in size yeah. as the weeks it's go by. It's a lot of puppy I energy. Yeah. <laughs> so who does the cooking? I assume then it's you again, CEO. Yep. I probably cook more, but I'll give this one to Steve. He is a much better cook. Oh, so really? it's a treat when Very he gets good. to, yes. Okay. Very good. What's your go-to meal? I like working the grill, yeah. but I love to cook. Uh, you know, when I have time, it's uh, you know, it's therapeutic. I think. Yeah. Gosh, okay. we got a couple more we want to run through real quick. What's one job you could never do? Mm-hmm. Poop duty. Poop <laughs> duty. <laughs> finish this. Finish the sentence, and you can keep with the same theme. I know it's a good day when you don't no. have to do poop duty. Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> no, when uh, when my family's happy. Awesome. Aww. How about for you, Lindsay? I'd echo the same thing. When my kids are happy, yeah. Mom answer, for sure. All right, last one. What's easier, raising kids or running a basketball team? Oh, I, I would say, obviously, uh, uh, running a basketball team is probably easier. Parenting is obviously the most important job in the world. And, and, uh, and, and not an easy one. Mm -hmm. So, But there's a lot of similarities. Um, and try to use some of the parenting skills of our family with our, our kids in our program. Mm -hmm. That's great. We're so right. glad to have you guys yeah. here. It's, it's nice yeah, to talk to you guys. Thank will you, you come for back and grace the yellow couch again? Absolutely. Of we course, would love of to. Course. Or, or probably in the off season. Right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> we'll see if he's a little different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right, up next.